Now we look at the diagram. Uh, this diagram in front of you uh, can show uh, quickly the whole process of mitosis or the division. As you can see in the first um, diagram A, uh, the cell is present in the interface. The nuclear membrane is complete. And now this is the diagram showing the mitosis in animal cell. You can see a nucleus in between. You can see centrosomes, a pair of centrioles present on uh, one side of the nucleus. The diagram B, next one, shows the early prophase. In this diagram, you can see that the chromosomes, they start appearing. They become condensed and we can, uh, we can observe them under a microscope. Um, the spindle fibers are forming. After that, uh, cells enter into the, uh, next we can, we can call it the late prophase. Um, in late prophase, the spindle fibers are formed and uh, the chromosomes start attaching themselves to the spindle fibers. After this, next stage comes the metaphase. In metaphase, uh, cells, uh, uh, chromosomes arrange themselves on the spindle fibers. They are attached to spindle fiber in the almost in the center. In the next phase, anaphase, the, the chromosomes uh, starts moving towards the poles of the cell. And uh, they are, as you can observe, the chromosomes, they are divided from the center. Um, and uh, equal number of chromosomes are going on both sides. In the telophase, you can see that the chromosomes reached that center. Uh, they started to started thinning again and uh, um, the nuclear membrane starts forming. In the next phase, you can see that um, the cell is divided into two daughter cells. Now we look at these processes, all of these stages in detail. Mitosis results in two cells which are alike, just like each other by ev almost every aspect. Mitosis is um, also called, it's, it's a karyokinesis. You know, that karyo is the word used for the nucleus. Uh, this is for division of the nucleus. When the mitosis of the karyokinesis completes, then comes the next phase called cytokinesis, when cell itself is divided into two. The karyokinesis consists of uh, four phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. When these four phases complete, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, then the nucleus uh, is completely divided and then the cell divides itself into two daughter cells. Now cytokinesis is different in animal and plant cells. We will talk about it later. We are talking about the actual mitosis, the karyokinesis. Prophase, we are talking about the first phase, the prophase. In the interphase, the chromosomes are not visible. We can see only the nucleus because the chromosomes are very thin at that stage. In prophase, chromosomes start condensing. They are, uh, the, due to the condensation, they become appearing under the microscope. Prophase, first of all, we are talking about prophase. In the interface, chromosomes are very thin and they are not visible under the microscope. But as the prophase starts, uh, the chromosomes start condensing. Uh, start thickening. Uh, due to this condensation, they become visible under the microscope. Um, as we know, that cell has passed through a process of uh, DNA synthesis already. So each chromosome at this phase is duplicated, is double, and have two uh, parts which are alike called the sister chromatids. Um, if you look at the diagram above, um, you can see that one chromosome is duplicated and it is looking like there are two. These are actually the replicated or the duplicated um, chromosome. Uh, now each chromosome um, uh, have a central point where uh, the cyst uh, we call both of these parts the sister chromatids. They have a central point, uh, the centrum here, where both of these sister chromatids are joined together. Then, uh, then uh, this, this part um, is also occupied by a protein called kinetochore. Kinetochore is attached, is actually attach uh, these sister chromatids to each other. And later on, in the later prophase, um, when the spindle fibers are formed, kinetochore attaches these uh, sister chromatids to the spindle fibers. Uh, in next part, the, in the prophase, now uh, the chromosomes, they are condensed. They are, uh, they consist of sister chromatids attached to each other. The the centrioles, they, are, they start moving towards the poles of the cell and um, uh, they form the spindle fibers. 
long long fibers which are uh, present for the attachment of chromosomes and their movement um, at the end of the almost at the end of the prophase uh, the chromosomes attach themselves with the help of their kinetic cores to the um, spindle fibers at the end when this is complete the nuclear membrane start dissolving and now the nuclear membrane is not present so the chromatin material is exposed um, in the nucleoplasm only uh, and they are not surrounded by a membrane so nuclear membrane disappears in plant cells uh, the the centrioles are not present uh, and the spindle fibers they are formed with the help of the the uh, components of spindle fibers uh, the microtubules present inside the cytoplasm uh, which are produced by the um, endoplasmic reticulum and the golgi bodies then comes the next phase called metaphase in metaphase chromosomes arrange themselves uh, on the equator as we know that in the prophase chromosomes they were attached uh, to the spindle fibers with the help of their kinetic cores uh, now they arrange themselves in almost center of the cell uh, we call it equator so in metaphase uh, cells arrange themselves in the center after metaphase the next stage comes is called anaphase in anaphase the spindle fibers start pulling chromosomes towards the poles when they apply the pulling forces on the chromosomes the sister chromatids divide from their kinetic cores and they are separated they divide actually from the centromere from which they are they were attached to each other and the sister chromatids they are separated and uh, out of each chromosome one sister chromatid move towards one pole and the other sister chromatid move towards the other pole uh, this stage is called anaphase then these chromosomes keep moving towards the poles um, in the anaphase um, and uh, this stage is uh, important and critical because equal number of chromosomes actually in this uh, at this time the sister chromatids should reach each pole to retain the natural um, uh, chromosome number if uh, some uh, some sister chromatids they do not divide then the result will be faulty cell um, and uh, they may be uh, they may die they cannot survive um, so the anaphase is this phase in which the spindle fibers start pulling the chromosomes towards the poles chromosomes are divided at their centromere and each sister chromatid move towards one pole then comes the next phase called telophase in telophase the sister chromatids reaches at the pole um, at this stage they uh, they start decondensing and they start we can say thinning again uh, coming back to their uh, normal position in which they were present um, before the prophase at this stage uh, we can say the nuclear material the chromatin material the chromosomes they start decondensing also at the end of this uh, stage the nuclear membrane start reforming when this stage reaches the uh, mitosis or we can say the nuclear division the karyokinesis is complete and then the cell enters into the uh, the, the next phase called uh, cytokinesis that is division of the whole cell now division of the whole cell is uh, different in the animal and the plant cells we have a look on certain pictures um, taken from uh, onion cells uh, for their in their prophase in their metaphase anaphase and telophase let's have a look on these pictures first and then we'll talk about the cytokinesis here in the diagram you can see in the circle on the top prophase this is the real picture taken from the microscope you can see that chromatin material is condensing uh, on the right down you can see a metaphase the chromosomes are arranged on the equator in the next picture you can see a beautifully placed anaphase uh, in which the chromosomes are moving towards the poles and they just look like two umbrellas facing each other in this diagram again in the circle you can see a telophase um, a telophase in which the um, uh, chromosomes have reached their destination to the poles and uh, they start decondensing but yet uh, cell is not divided after this karyokinesis uh, 
nuclear division is complete. Now cell have to divide in two cells. Now the cytokinesis or division of the cell is different in the animal and the plant cell. We talk about uh, the plant cell first. In the plant cells, as you can see in the diagram above, in the center of the cell, a plate or a line is formed. This plate is formed of some materials which are produced by the, the Golgi bodies of the cell. These materials start collecting inside the center when the nuclear division is complete. And then this cell plate start moving towards or we can say start growing towards the um, sides of the cells and uh, ultimately it joins with the um, cell membrane and divides the cell into two. Now this cell plate uh, have components of cell membrane in the cell wall so that it can make the uh, cell membrane to separate the cells and then the cell wall as well. After that the cell divides into two different cells. Cytokinesis in animal cell is, is different. As you can see in a um, uh, picture above, when the nuclear division is complete in the animal cell, a cleavage furrow is formed. Uh, we can say an invagination is formed uh, in the center of the cell and this invagination continue to grow towards inside. As we know that in plants, the cell plate was formed in the center and then it moves towards um, the external sides. But in the animal cells, um, a furrow or an invagination is formed in the center um, from the exterior and then it is moving towards or growing towards the interior of the cell and then it divides the cell into two. This process of cytokinesis in the animal cells um, is um, supported by the uh, cytoskeletal elements. The actin filaments and microtubules and other uh, cytoskeletal elements help in this cleavage furrow formation. They actually contract and stretch the cell membrane, the plasma membrane towards inside and ultimately this invagination, um, uh, this invagination from uh, all the sides join each other and divide the cell into two daughter cells. Now the uh, division of cell is complete and uh, the both cells are now called daughter cells. Um, these cells have equal number of chromosomes and almost equal um, quantity of the cytoplasm and organelles and all the other things.